and I know you've answered this in your mailbag. How do you think the Browns' defense projects coming up? Yeah, you know, I, I think there's reason to be optimistic, Dave, and it starts with Jim Schwartz, right? The coordinator change. You know, we talk about a lot. There's a lot of unknowns this time of the year. Well, it doesn't feel like Jim Schwartz is an unknown. He's been doing this a long time. He feels to me like a significant upgrade over Joe Woods. And, you know, that's, that is a knock on Woods to some extent, but it's also just knowing how good Schwartz is and the career he's had. And he won a Super Bowl with the Eagles as a coordinator, went to the Super Bowl as a coordinator with the Titans. You know, was a coach for five, head coach for five years with the Lions. So I think that will help period. And then you look at, okay, Miles Garrett is still going to be Miles Garrett. He's still in his prime. Uh, you get some young guys. Greg Newsom should be better. You would think Martin Emerson Jr. should be better. JOK. Um, and then the addition, right? Dalvin Tomlinson, um, Oboe at defensive end. Um, Juan Thornhill at safety, you would hope, is an upgrade over John Johnson the third. So, you know, I, I think there's some unknowns and some uncertainty, but I certainly think there's plenty of reasons to expect the Browns to be significantly better. So here's, here's kind of what I come back to with that. What do you expect the Browns' identity to be defensively with Jim Schwartz? And then as a follow-up to that, could you tell me what it was with Joe Woods? I, I, I couldn't answer yeah. what, their, what their defense was with Joe Woods. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, let's start with the second part. Um, you know, like, it almost felt like Joe Woods' kind of calling card was we're going to use a lot of DBs, right? They went to a lot of three safeties. Um, they went to dime a lot. And, and I don't even know what that counts as an identity, but that's something that he really relied upon and thought it was the right way to operate. And, you know, I think that he had some success with it, but I don't think it was overwhelming success. I think it's hard to do that sometimes inside the AFC North when the Steelers go big personnel and the Ravens certainly go big personnel. Um, and then when it comes to Jim Schwartz, you know, it's attacking. And, and not so much with the blitz. You know, he doesn't blitz a ton. Now he will if he's got – a lockdown secondary, and there's a potential for that in corner with the, you know, the top three corners at least that the Browns have. Um, but it's about attacking from the defensive line and having a big, long, strong, deep rotation along that front four. And I don't think the Browns are there yet. You know, we talked about adding Tomlinson and Oboe. Um, I think they're still, and they, you know, they've added more defensive tackles than that, right? Hurst and Tristan Hill. But it feels like there's even more room to add guys at D-tackle, and I certainly think at D-end, they need some more depth. But it's going to be your front four have to dominate, and they'll do it with the wide system and really attacking um, because it's all about the pass rush. Yeah, and, and uh, again, I think they're a step ahead because Jim Schwartz knows what he wants the defense to look like, and it's easy to, it's easy to see that. I, and I, I don't know that maybe some of the miscommunication with Joe Woods is – he couldn't tell you what he wanted the defense to look like. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I'm not saying you're wrong there. I do think that, you know, and I, it's weird because I think the Browns have smart guys, right? But you hear guys at the end of the year talk about simplifying, and when Woods would simplify, they'd be better. And I think there's a realistic – I think it's realistic to think that Schwartz will simplify things. And he'll say, this is what we do. Let's still go do it great. And if, you know, it's not compli complicated, maybe some offenses figure some stuff out, but it doesn't matter if your front four is winning down in and down out. So I do think there's a lot better chance for the Browns to have fewer of those big miscommunications that really did them in early in last season and early in the season before.